Hello, it's Roz again, and I have my daughter Lexi with me, and she's going to help me make thumb cake right after she goes and washes her hands. I was about to do that. Yes, she was. Um, so it's fairly easy. Um, the ingredients that we need are. One box of Duncan Hines yellow cake mix. One can of crushed pineapples and heavy syrup. Now these are pineapple chunks and heavy syrup and that's because they had the crushed pineapples that they had, they didn't have uh, in heavy syrup. It was a natural oil, not, uh, juices. And I have made them before with the natural juices but it's a little more watery, um, and it, it, it tastes good still, but I want to do it with the heavy syrup instead this time around. So, um, one can of crushed pineapples in heavy syrup. And one can of pie filling. Two. Got those. Um, you should also have a bag of, I like to use finely, finely, diced walnuts some people um like bigger chunks so you can use like the chopped walnuts that works fine too but for today i'm going to use the um the diced walnuts to make this one cake and last ingredient but not the least ingredient is a stick of butter or margarine i'm going to use margarine right now but you can use the butter or margarine I have double the ingredients because what I'm making is for church tonight at family night, which I've mentioned in the last uh, section of the video. Um, so I'm going to make a double portion, but all the ingredients that I have given you so far is one of each for a single portion. And then if you want to make double, then obviously you just double up on the ingredients. So it's very easy, okay? I'm going to use this tray, but usually when I make it for singles, I use a, um, like a 9x9 nine nine to make it. So first thing is first, you want to take your pineapples and your pie filling, and you want to mix them together inside the tray, okay? I'm going to get my can opener. And then for me, because I'm not using um, the crushed ones initially, I'm just gonna throw these in a blender and crush them in a blender. And there, I got crushed pineapples and heavy syrup. So I'm gonna do that, okay? And I am using the Ninja because that's my favorite blender. Like, I've had it for a few years and I have never use the blender that works quite as well as the ninja i swear by it and when i get a new blender if i when i need one it's going to be a ninja because it's like the best blender in the world to me so all right you can dump those okay. i'm gonna go crush it. these so yeah just dump it. it in just spread it around Can of uh, uh, pineapples. And you can open that and dump it in. Help here. I think I just 
it broke right now. I broke right now. Alright, so that should be good. Mommy, time oh, I just broke my nail. Alright, let's see if you can see it. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Oh, look, it's a little Okay. You gotta put the other can in too. So this is my makeshift crushed pineapples and heavy syrup. Spilling stuff here. This has to go in there too. I didn't realize that these were whole. And they are. They need to be crushed too. Okay, so for the butter, when you use it, you have to melt it in a bowl. So I haven't melted the butter yet, but I'm not at that step yet. Aaron just gave me this one. It doesn't matter. Um, so you melt it down to a liquid because you're going to have to spread that over the top to make the crust for this cake. Can you push it down so they can actually see the tray? Yeah, when we get it all done, then I'll do that. But right now we're just putting everything together. Okay. So again, I'm using double the ingredients because I am making one for a larger group of people. Sorry. Yeah, you gotta mix it, stir it up. Okay. Okay. So this is what it looks like so far. Just mix it up, mix it around, just mix the pineapples and the, um, the cherry pie filling together. While she's doing that, I'm going to open a box of Duncan Hines Java Cake Mix. And you won't use all of this cake mix, just so you know. You're only going to use enough to cover the top of your... Mm -hmm. Is that okay. good? Yeah, but it needs to be mixed a little bit more. I don't want it to be looking pineapple-y. And, uh, of course, the bubbles are from the blender, so... Okay. You gotta make sure it's mixed up really good. Alright, that's good. Let's flatten it out. So. Okay. Let's okay, this can go in the sink now, because we don't need this anymore. I just need to flatten it out a little more. It should be nice and smooth and a little chunky because of it. Because it's the pineapples and cherries. Alright. Okay, so with the yellow cake mix, you need to kind of, they always have like little chunks um, in it, so you want to kind of squeeze those little chunks out so it's just the powder all right and then you take the cake mix don't forget me and you make a layer on top of your tray so we're going to spread it around and don't be um too get a fork honey hard about certain chunks because just get the top of the cake covered and then it's real easy because it's just the, the powder so you just take a fork and like rake, rake across the uh, the cake mix and it'll get rid of the uh, the little chunks of the, the mix so 
you can kind of make this as thick as you want the crust to be. Like, this crust is just really good. This is, to me, this is what makes this cake. This is the what crust. makes the cake crust. So. Uh, I want to make sure you get it all over. Okay. So we'll see if that's enough. Take the fork. Like these little chunks here. All you can do is just rake across and they just fall right apart. Another thing too is when you put this sucker in the oven and that butter is cooking the top of this crust, all those chunks are just going to break down anyway. So don't be OCD about the chunks because they, when it's all done, said and done, it, 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 there won't be a single yeah, chunk in here. Yeah, hold on. Let me get some more of these out. Okay, so. I have my diamond uh, diced walnuts. And this is kind of the same as with putting your layer of the cake mix on. You can put it as thick as you want to put it on it, but I like to just have a nice even layer of the walnut and then it's going to sink down into that crust. And when you put the melted butter on and then bake it, it's going to like just cook, uh, bake into the crust. So you have nice crunchy, it's good, it's really good. Nice crunchy layer on top. Okay, let's get this one little chunk of right here. Okay. That is good. Sit that to the side. We'll throw those in the garbage. Now we're going to layer walnuts on top of There. So yeah, I can stop now if I want, but I want to cover more. Just put as much as you want on there to cover the top of the layer of the line. All right, so now we got a nice layer of walnut here. I'm going to take a I'm going to take my um, stick of margarine. Again, you can use margarine or butter. Sometimes I use butter. Sometimes I use margarine. Today I wanted to use margarine. So this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to put this in the microwave and just long enough to melt it. And then what you want to do is you want to get a spoon and you want to spoon the butter over the top of your crust. So for me, I may need two of these, but I'm going to start with one, and then if I need the second one, then I'll just uh, melt that one and put it on there. So far, this is what our creation looks like. So you take your butter or your margarine, and you spoon it on top. Just kind of spread it. You want to make sure that you get the corners. And this is going to take a little bit of time to do this. I'm just kind of showing you how to do it. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next stop. I don't know, maybe I'll... Yeah, so this is how you get the butter on there. Just spoon it all over. Once it is in the oven and baking, you know, oils from everything start to uh, come out and spread and everything starts cooking and bubbling and so don't be alarmed if there's like little bits and pieces here and there of cake mix that looks like there's nothing on it because it won't be like that when you get done making it. Just want to make sure you cover the entire surface with butter, especially in the corners or around the, uh, the perimeter. 
but that's there's usually not a whole lot of walnuts there and it cooks nice and brown and you get a good crisp going. So open that, so I'm gonna need to use that second, or maybe even just half of that second one to cover the rest of this. Then open it up. And um, if I need it, well, you may not need it, but it looks like I might need it. Because I like to try to make sure that every little piece has some butter on it. No, we will. I'm looking and I see a lot of little places where I didn't get so. You might only need half of it. You may not need any of it. Just um, filling it out. Alright, we'll just do that. So, like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. After you're done spreading everything on it. So I have preheated my oven to 350 and you're going to bake this in the oven at 350 for an hour to an hour and a half. Um, I tend to add or subtract more or less just based off of the way it looks. Like if it looks like the crust is brown enough or crispy enough for me, then um, I'll take it out. If it's not, then I just let it sit a little bit longer until I feel like uh, it's crispy enough, it's brown enough, it's done enough for me. So, all right, so this is, this is how you put together a dump cake. And we're going to put this one in the oven as soon as it's done preheating. And then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Right? So we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so we're back and the finished product is here. So I cooked it for a little less than an hour and a half. I think I did more like an um, hour and 15 minutes instead of an hour and a half. Like I said, you got to watch it to uh, see how you like it. But this is what it looks like finished. Um, let's see a different angle over here. There. There, you can mm -hmm. see it's nice and brown. And it actually tastes like there are more ingredients in it than there are. But, oh, it smells so good. I will cut into it so you guys can see the inside, but I want it to be pretty for presentation tonight. So, but when you make your own and cut into it, then you will see what it looks like on the inside. And even better, you'll be able to see what it tastes like. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you will try this recipe out and enjoy it as much as I do. And everyone who tries it does. It's really good. And um, I'll probably post other recipes in the future. It just depends on what I'm making and if I'm making anything. Uh, I think the next thing that I'm going to make is going to be a double chocolate and vanilla cheesecake from scratch um for thanksgiving so i'll post that video around that time if i can remember that i'm supposed to record the video to do it um i'll post the video for that um until next time this is Roz and my mini me alexia and thanks for watching enjoy bye